Hi and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben. And I'm Kay. And today we are reviewing a Blumhouse in collaboration with Amazon movie called Nocturne. <laughs> So this is your spoiler warning. We're going to talk about the end of the film now. So if you don't want to hear about the end, um, now's your time to click away. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, the end. Was it or wasn't it? This is like Inception. Did it or didn't it? Which is the real ending? I guess you have to decide. So throughout the film, they suggest to you that there are these stages within the book that every t once you've read the book or played the piece, the devil's twerp, the devil's trap. <laughs> Trill. Trill. The devil's, the devil's twerp. twerp. I like it. Yeah, we'll call it that from now on. The devil's <laughs> twerp. Um, and so there's these stages of things that she equates to happening in the book with her life. Um, and and by any by any account, it does look like it's happening that way. Every time she um, experiences something like the light, it seems to be helping her, saving her life. Um, yeah. And so eventually it gets to the, the last one, which she hasn't, she can't see because it's not in the book. So mm. she has to do the... I'm possessed writing thing and then she knows it's, it's called automatic writing I don't want to talk about it <laughs> and then there is uh, that moment where she realizes it's sacrifice you know that's it that's the last bit so if you play this piece you will get to kill yourself you'll have to kill yourself but here's the thing mm. in at the beginning of the film we got the impression that she had play, played her piece and that's why she killed herself right no <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> so now she's played that piece. We saw her imagine what had happened or experience what had happened before. And then she jumps off the roof and she dies and experiences that. Was that in her mind? At the same time that she's realities? in her mind playing. So here's my theory. Okay. I think that whatever the entity is, it gives you the desire of your heart, but only in your mind in those final seconds when you are dying. That's what I think it does. Because they mentioned about it requires a soul. Yeah. So the price of, hey, you do get to experience, but we didn't tell you how you experience it. Exactly. Is it reality? Did you actually experience that? or? Because here's the thing. It looked like she had decided not to do it. Yeah. So if that was the reality, she had decided not to do it. Then why did she have to kill herself? Exactly. Doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. Doesn't. It's a bit of a frustrating one. Yeah. And then you also start to wonder about Moira and yeah. like what she was experiencing, because she finished exactly like as the clock struck six. Yeah. What was that to do with the? Because that didn't happen again before the end. No, it didn't. So they need to stick to their damn rules. <laughs> what are the rules with this demon bargain that you're making? Come on, man. Like I if mean, you watch Faust made it clear, right? If you watch Supernatural, <laughs> the Crossroads demons, they, they're very particular about what you're allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do exactly I, I you get x number of years yeah usually 10 yeah no i yeah it is frustrating i think the more you think about it the more you kind of go i don't know or did it not make sense and the writers didn't think about it and it wasn't a very good ending yeah hmm. i don't know yeah i mean the fact that it's actually making you think makes me think it's a good ending because it's a conundrum it's like so was it all in her mind and she actually completely lost the plot and went and jumped off the roof because she was so ashamed and embarrassed about her failure. But in her mind, on the way down, she played the piece mm. because that's the bargain that she had made. Yeah. Or... I like to think that... Is it an alternate reality? I was going to say, I like to think there's two realities because we're talking about gods and demons and magic, so this is possibility. Okay. two realities. You reach that... You reach that... Six, six page and where she decides... No, I'm not going to do it. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Because when, when she give, gives up, she, that should be the reality. She lives. But the reality is she dies. Yeah. So when she decided not to play, that should be the break. Like, I'm not going to sacrifice. The deal is off. Yeah. I get to live. So rarely, it could it be a genie? Because genies are known to be Tricks mischievous. They're, they're tricksters. They're original jinn. Mm. Um, they... They're always wanting your soul and to get out of the bargain that they've struck, struck with you. And the bargain is always way worse. They'll twist your wishes. So if this is a like a, a demon to a, a demon gin for music. Then yeah. the reality is they're always going to win at the end. Yeah. They're going to get you. And again, what we what we thought would happen at the end was that the next person would stumble upon the book. Mm. 
But that didn't happen. That didn't happen. That would have been way... Yeah. I, I would have ended it And then, way. of course, <clears throat> let's not forget that we're not actually sure if she did kill herself. Right. Because she's lying there on the sculpture, bleeding out, dying. Smiling and the creepiest smile. nobody is noticing. Nobody sees her. Yeah. Because that kind of a fall would make a noise, for yeah. starters. People there would, would be scream. A, a noise impact. Even this generation on their phones would still notice a dead body on the sculpture. Someone would. There were enough people around, yeah. but they were all completely oblivious, like she wasn't there. Yeah. So was she actually there? Right. Again, the question of what is reality? Which Again, reality so is So there's real? so many things that you could dissect and go, well, what is actually going on with this film? Go back at just a few minutes before she goes on stage. She puts her hands into the water and it basically burns her hands red. And then she takes them out and they're completely normal. And that didn't happen before when she was doing the stuff with her hands. It was hot, obviously, but it wasn't like that experience. Mm. So there's a lot going on in this where you're like, hang on a second. Or how about this? Maybe Mad Moira was actually just mad. <laughs> and and so was Juliet. Contagious because, madness. No, because she was already unhinged. Remember, oh. her sister said to her, "This time I won't be there to pick up the pieces." That is true. So, what had happened before? Yeah. What was going on with her mentally? So, essentially, if this was the first episode, they'll be able to explain it through mm. lots of other episodes. But now they've just left us because it's a one film with loads of questions. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. I might lower my score. <laughs> oh. I'll get a C. No, you can't do that. Why not? Because then you'd have to do that for Inception. No, Inception works. Because it's just that one question. Is he in the reality or is he not in reality? It's just as simple as that. Double standards. Which reality is it? No. <laughs> Christopher Nolan gets an A. Oh, does he? Yeah, mind you, Tenet. I didn't I didn't give Tenant an A. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, we're just waffling now. We should yes. end. Yep. All right, so let us know your theories on this film. What actually happened? What happened in this film? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, gosh. Thanks so much for watching this. Let us know in the comments below. Check out our other reviews for the Blumhouse collaborations on Amazon. Um, also, we've got a gaming channel with a newbie that has joined our team, Sam or Samuel. So do check him out. Give him some love if you are into gameplays and reviews. He's going to have his dedicated playlist on our channel. Yeah. So um, I hope you enjoy those. Um, and, and it's a family affair because Kay's my wife and Samuel's my son. He's my son too. No, no, he's just my son. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live, live long and Tuesday. Tuesday.